Hello, everybody. How are you? Happy Sunday. I'm just gonna wait for a couple of you to get online here. Do, 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 do. Hi, Amber. Hi, hi, this is so fun. I, I have no idea what I'm doing today other than like, you know, I just thought I really just want an opportunity for people to not be bored at home. And um, hey guys, if you can, if you get a chance, just please let me know who's here, like right in the comments, like, hey, let me know where you're from actually, which is really exciting too. Hey sis, um, yeah, like write a little message. I wanna know where you're from. Um, hey Mike, so I really, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes. Noard, hey Sean. Um, everyone just come on, please say hi. Let me know where you're from. Um, my uh, cousin, family cousin, Helen, she, hey Helen, there she is. Helen's all the way from Oregon in the US. So um, I think she's come from the farthest part away. And then we've got uh, my sister who's, who's in Calgary, right? And so it's really exciting that um, we're all uh, coming from all over North America to paint today. Hey, Tina, I'm glad that you guys are all here. So Amber's in Etobicoke. Um, and I know you're excited, Helen. I'm so excited too. And first of all, I just wanted to start off the afternoon by welcoming you. And um, I'm excited because this was like an idea yesterday. I was having a conversation of like, you know, what can we do together as a community to come together and like do something fun while we're kind of dealing with um with uh the coronavirus out here and we're all stuck inside so noir it's from toronto hey um so as we're yeah so i really wanted to find a way for us to do something fun and take our mind off things and come together as a community as well as you know, art's very therapeutic and, you know, with a, a little bit of hysteria and all of that going on. And let's see if we can just kind of like change the vibration of this uh, for today and kind of do something, something fun to take our mind off things. So that's what brought me here. Um, Coco is here. Um, oh, Sean, hey, you have a whole group of kids from Owen Sound, Ontario that are watching. Is that, is that what I'm hearing you say, Sean? Um, Coco's here. She is up there. She's napping. She probably will wake up and make some noise in a little bit. So, um, we we'll just want to let you know she's joining us. I brought a couple paintings behind me and, um, I also want to let you know that I'm actually sitting in the dining room of my parents' house and they are here at the dining room table. So my mom and dad are here. Say hi. Hello. Okay, so they're here too. So when we're finished, you know, I really want to just walk you through how to paint something from start to finish. I'm going to walk you through all the steps. It's going to take us maybe about 45 minutes. If you want to take more time afterwards and touch up areas, feel free. But what I'll do is I'll kind of like keep us at a pace and then if you need to go back to a section, you can. Um, also, I'm always here if you have questions or there's something you want to know, just like say, hey, like, wait a minute, how do I do this? Oh, mom, Helen's saying hi, cuz Beth. So cousin Helen is hi, all the way from Oregon. She says hi. Um, so with that being said, um, I, want, I know that some, where some of you are from, um, you know, with the seniors, actually, you all know that I teach seniors to paint in the retirement homes and, and long-term care homes. And some of those have actually, um, you know, closed the doors to ex having visitors from the outside. So um, I've kind of taken a little bit of a hit with that. And it's really frustrating because you just want those seniors to be engaged and um, fulfilled during their day. So I was like, how, what else can we do here? Um, and for me, painting is such an enjoyment that I really wanted to you know, keep myself like really fulfilled and enjoying um, teaching while um, I'm unable to see some of those seniors. So here we go. Okay, so everyone must have brought, got some paints or and paint brushes and you brought a canvas with you. Um, you may or may not have all the supplies. That's okay if you want to run into your like, you know, craft cabinet and you want to pull out some pencil crayons or like a piece of paper or just take notes about what I'm instructing today, feel free to do that as well. Um, and the first thing what we're going to do is just I want to share with you how I get started is, you know, I just kind of look at what the theme of 
uh, you know, the, what the time of year is and what the season is. Right now the season is spring, so I'm, I've done this painting with the seniors. It turned out really well. I wanna teach this one to you guys. So we're just gonna do like a little swing, spring, swing into spring painting with a little bird. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that step by step. The first step with everything is we always wanna get our background done first. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do the sky, then the grass, then we're gonna do the, the tree, and then we're gonna let that dry. We'll work on some grass, and then we'll go back and start adding the greenery and all the little flowers and everything to decorate it, okay? Um, if there's any questions, feel free to like comment below, and I know a lot of you are watching, so it's hard for you to type and paint at the same time, which is, seems to be my mission here too. Um, at the end of this session, I really am open to hear like your feedback as well as I'd love you to post a picture of what you painted, whether you finished it or not, or you got a section done or not, that'd be great. So everyone put your paint out on your palette. Here's my colors that I'm using today. You might have like a different color green. You might have a different color of blue, that's okay. Um, and just put your, put your paints out there, okay? So I just want you to have that all set up and ready to go and you might have to add in a little bit later on, okay? And then I've got my water here. I've got a little bit of water and my paint brushes. I use a little bit of paper towel too if I need to like damp wipe off my paintbrush once it's cleaned. Um, so if you need to grab some paper towel or <laughs> toilet paper <laughs> to if wipe you have, if any. You have any to wipe your brush off, okay? Um, and then I've got this board. This is an 11. <laughs> I only got a like for that one. This is an 1114 size, so canvases come in like many different sizes. This is a good size to get done in just that amount of time that we're gonna um, we're gonna do this painting, okay? So the first step, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get you to do the sky, and I want you to paint. Use your large brush, so the biggest one that you have. Hey Seth, hi Donna. Um, so the largest brush you have, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint from like here up in like a light blue, okay? So you're gonna use, if you have a dark blue, that's okay. You're just gonna add a little bit of white to it. And you can even just like, I'm gonna go above the comments if you can see. I'm just gonna like mix a little bit of white and blue together. That kind of lightens it up a little bit. I just want it a little bit lighter than what I have here. If you have a dark blue, just add some white to it. Okay, and here's what we're gonna do. Hey, Melly and Ashley. I'm gonna just draw a line going straight across and I'm gonna do mine upside down. You don't have to do this. I'm gonna just draw a line straight across. Now I know this is gonna be my grass and this is gonna be my sky. And I'm gonna to start to just paint this paint on here like this, okay? You could even like put your brush in the white. You could put your brush in the white here and I'm just gonna paint the whole canvas side to side, all the way to the edges in this light blue. And is everyone okay? You're all following along? Say yes. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. So sometimes when I'm thinking of like things to paint, like I might look at, you know, some photos that I've taken of nature, I might go on Pinterest. Um, sometimes somebody has an idea that they want me to paint, so I'll choose that idea. Um, and I'm just gonna like, yeah, just paint this all in. And um, good. Okay, yes, Amber's good. Good. There is different ways to like do texture and skies and everything, but for this presentation today, we're just gonna do something simple because I know a lot of you have, some of you have never painted before, and some of you have, but you know, let's just, um, Let's just start with like more of the basics until you guys get as advanced as those seniors out there. Um, I have an edge on my board, so I'm actually gonna paint the side down to here, and I'm gonna paint the top and this side down to here. For those of you that are just joining, join in, hey sis, yes, that's right. For those of you that are just joining, um, go grab some markers, go grab some pencils, like. Grab something to so you can start to kind of get painting or maybe you have some crayons or something like that or bring your kids like, you know, if the kids want to come and join, this is a great activity for them. Um, 
I will be doing this again. So for those of you that, you know, have kids and they're stuck inside at this time, I'm going to make sure that they get one painting done before they get back to school, okay? So I'm just gonna paint the sides too. If the paints are a little dry, I might just add a little splash of water. And I'm just gonna paint that down the side. I don't wanna see any of that white canvas coming through. So I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and covered. Good, okay. My mom and dad are working really hard over here. <laughs> They're concentrating. Okay, excellent. So good. Does everyone have their background completed? Say yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Megs. And then our next step, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to just wash my brush. You can just dab it in the bottom of the water cup. <laughs> it is a great idea. Thanks, Melly. Um, and I'm going to use some green, okay? So the green is next. And I'm gonna paint this bottom, the grass. So we're just getting the background completed. And I'm just gonna paint the bottom with dark green. You ready for that, mom? Yeah, Ooh, good. for sure. She's ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right to the edge. Right to the edge, so you're gonna get all the blue done and then you're gonna do the dark green at the bottom. Or if you have light green, that's okay too. You can use light green at the bottom. Good, I'm moving a little bit quickly, that's okay. Awesome, Raphael. Hey, Rebecca, yay, Rebecca's here. Did you bring your son with you to join us? I hope so. We've got a couple of the kids watching today. Um, and if they're not watching now, they will probably pick this video up a little bit later um, to complete it. How are you making out over there, okay? Good. And with the green, I'm just gonna add in, so Rebecca, just start with putting some light blue and white at the top, and then some green at the bottom. Just draw a line and just divide it in two. Oh, he's here, good. Rebecca's son is with us. How old is your son, Rebecca? And I'll try not to ask too many questions while you guys are trying to paint and watch and, you know, type. So I'm gonna just go with the green at the bottom. I made this like line nice and straight going across, just so you know, that's the horizon. I got some blue sky in there, that's okay. If you want to do something fun, you can change the grass color. So I'll just show you an example. Um, this is one I did. So if you look at the grass in this one, it's really light. Mm. So you can add some white to it, okay? Or you can add some yellow to it. And I'll just show you how I did that. So just by using the same brush, I can dip right into my yellow and I can put yellow right on top of my green. Just like lightens it up a little bit. Or if you want to, hey guys, if you're joining, oh, your son's five, that's great. I'm so glad he's here, Rebecca. We're gonna keep him busy this next couple weeks. <laughs> For those of you who joined us, please let me know where you are um, signed in from because uh, we have some people from, we have my cousin from the States today, my sister's in, from Calgary, um, and would love to know where you're, where you're tuning in from. So if you have a look here, I just added even some white on top of the green. I love that color. It just lightens it up. It's not so dark. For those of you that are working with a dark, with a light green, that's so fine too. You can just use the light green. And I'm just painting the sides as I go. The reason why I'm painting the sides is because we're all gonna hang this up on our walls, right? Yes. So you might find a place in your house you wanna hang it up. And I find like when you hang it on a wall, it just looks like nice and finished, like a masterpiece, like a real piece of art when you have the sides done, okay? So that's exciting. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna paint all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna take a second here. And I've got the green all the way across and on my sides. Good. Shirley, how are you? Um, and that's it, good. So now I've got like all these colors. For those of you that are just joining, if you want to, you can just add, grab some paint supplies or um, you know, go to your, you know, if you have any markers or pens or anything and you want to just take some notes on how we're doing this, that's fine too. Um, and 
you know, just, I know uh, some of us are still going out and shopping and that's okay. The Dollarama actually has no lineups, which is nice. So if you're thinking of going out and purchasing some supplies, like go and stock yourself up on some supplies, okay? Um, and I'll put a list in the comments, but we're using these small paints from the dollar store. They're $1.50. And then there's brushes there as well. And then the canvases are about $2, $2.50, depending on what size you get. So good, okay. So we have our bot, we have our grass and we have our sky. Wonderful, hey Oliver. So here's what we're gonna do. We have our large paintbrush. How'd you do there, mom? You ready? If your paints are a little dry again, like just don't be afraid to like add some water to help them smooth on a little bit because it's a little bit dry. Yeah, good. Excellent, okay, so here's what our next step will be. You ready for your next step? Do you need a minute? Oh, you're doing great. So good. So for the next step, I'm gonna to start to work on the branches. The reason why I wanna do the branches, and I'll just reference this photo again. Here's what we're working on, okay? So, oh, he loves drawing. So Shirley says, showing my little nephew how he can create paintings with you. He loved drawing. I would love that to like help him. Yes, and I know we talked about that before. We have to do something and get him drawing and painting. Um, so thanks, Shirley. So here's what we got, okay? We've got this picture, and we've done the sky, and we've done the grass. I'm going to continue to, we're going to continue to add, like, texture and stuff to it. But in the meantime, we're going to add this branch going across, and this brown branch here. And the reason why we're going to do that now is because we have to let it dry. And then once it's dry, we can start to, like, add, like, the other elements on it, okay? So here's what we'll do. We're going to just put our large brush into the water, because we're not going to use it right now. And we're gonna take our medium brush, or you can use your small brush if you have a smaller canvas than 1114, you can use a smaller brush. And we're gonna just draw like a squiggle going across. If you don't have brown, you could mix a couple colors together. Like you could mix, um, if you don't have brown, you could mix like green and pink together with some blue. What else could we mix together? Do you have black? You could use some black. You can mix a couple colors together. If you mix like green and blue and pink kind of gets like a purpley color. You could add some black in there. Just You just need something dark, okay? And does that work for you, Amber? Let me know. Just kind of mix something together so you have a little bit of a darker color. So you could mix like, even if you took some, some red and green and yellow, kind of mix it together. Okay, good, Amber is good. So just mix a few colors, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're all just having a fun Sunday, right? Fun day Sunday. So, you know, as we go through, you'll go, oh yeah, okay, I'd rather like have a darker blue than a lighter blue, or maybe I need to pick up like this type of paintbrush, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw this um, branch going across. Um, and it really is just like, it's just like this kind of snaky squiggle going across. And it's gonna be a little bit thicker, so I'm just gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna fill it in. And don't be too concerned about it having to be perfect, because that's something I tend to do, like having it to be like the perfect shape or the perfect like line. And you know what? It's okay if it's not perfect, we're just having fun right now. Okay, good, and like that, great. And then I'm gonna just draw two if everyone looks at this, we've got two branches in the top right corner up here. And then we've got a branch that comes out here where the bird's going to sit. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through how to paint that. Here we go. That looks good, mom. Mom's over here painting her story mom. Okay. So I'm going to just draw maybe <laughs> like one branch like this. See how I kind of use the brush like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of like two little twigs. Yeah, good. Sis, how are you making out? Helen, how are you doing over there in Oregon? You guys are so far away. Yeah, good. Excellent. And then there is this space here where we're gonna <laughs> put room for our bird. But the thing is oh, we yeah. need to have enough space so that like we don't wanna put our branch way up here. There'll be no room for the bird. So we wanna have the branch come down a little bit lower. So I'm just gonna start just above my green grass and I'm just gonna draw like a little branch coming across. 
not the whole way, but just like far enough that, you know, it's like, it's noticeable, but there'll be enough room for my little swing. If you decide you put a swing in again, you don't have to put a swing in if you don't want to. You can kind of, thanks sis, you can kind of like, um, you know, make it your own. Like if there's something that we're doing that you like, add it. If there's something that we're doing and you, you know, you don't want to put it in, that's okay too. Um, branches also have like a little bit of um, shape to them. So sometimes when the sun hits the branch, there's going to be like a highlight on the top of it and then it'll be a little bit darker on the underside. So I can just show you what I did here is the branch looks a little bit lighter on the top up here and the top and then at the bottom you can see it's a little bit darker so in order to create that effect because you guys are so advanced now <laughs> we're gonna do something like this hey guys if you just joined just like let me know who's here and I would love to know where you're from um, so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the top of my branch and you could even add like some yellow in there too but see how I just did that just a little white at the top just a little white it's okay if it if it's too much white you just blend it into your brown it's no big deal I'm gonna make my branch wrap around here on the side yeah great so good and then what I'll do is I'll kind of maybe add a little bit of white in here and then I might do the same for down here is I'll just add some white going across here Excellent. You guys are doing great. I can already see that these are going to be like worth a lot of money, right guys? So you, <laughs> you can start to think about, you know, while you're painting this is like, where do you want to put this in your house? Or which family member can you hit up for a few bucks, right? You never know. You might want to sell it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do too. Once you have the white done. I'll add in a, the shadow. So just a little bit of black. You can even mix it with a little bit of the brown. Or if you're just using black like amber, you can just make this a little bit, just make this a little bit darker. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing how like just we get into this zone and then we kind of forget about everything else that's going on. And I'm just gonna, hey sis. So I just um, also wanted to just like acknowledge my sister. Hey Sam, Sammy. Um, I wanted to just say my sister had it, she's in Calgary and she shared the post about the live today and she said, you know, if anyone in Calgary wants any art supplies, I'll go to the Dollarama for you and I'll pick them up and drop you off at your house. And sis, I just thought that was like such a beautiful gesture for people like to go out and that you were going to go buy them supplies. That was so sweet of you. Um, and then again, at the bottom of these, just to kind of give it a little bit of texture and color. Sammy, where's Sammy in your painting? Come on, Sammy, you got to join us. Sam's here. Good. So Sam actually, um, I work at one of her homes with her seniors. So we get an opportunity to do this with the seniors all the time. So Sam, thank you so much for um, having me be with your seniors. We just have such a good time. And those seniors are so proud of those paintings. My goodness. Okay. Very cool. So we have our sky and our grass and our branches. See how kind of there's a little bit of a, it's lighter at the top, goes a little darker. Excellent. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wash our brush. And sometimes I have to like, aw, damn. And dab the brush in the bottom of the cup. Sometimes just to get the paint out, right? Right, mom? Yep. Mom and dad are here with me, okay? <laughs> okay. Dad's like in his painting zone. If you all notice that, uh, you know, I do get my creative talents from my parents, that's for sure. A couple artists in the house. Mom makes her card, does her card class and makes cards, birthday cards, and and all the uh, cards for presents, depending on what size, si what time of season it is, and, and Dad's painting. So he's taking, uh, been painting his whole life. So 
Um, okay, so the next step, we have a clean paintbrush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you draw some grass and the grass is gonna look like this. Helen, you don't have brown. You can use black and white or you can mix uh, like some red and green or pink and green together. Oh my goodness, your dad. Okay, so Hel Helen, yes, just mix a few colors together. You can even use green, blue, and pink and mix it together. It can kind of make like a dark purple. You could do it in that color, add some brown. Mix a few colors together, that's okay. Add in some black. Sorry if I didn't get the message to you guys to get the brown, my apologies. And just mix a few colors. Even if you get like a gray color, that's okay. It's just for the purpose of this. And you can always go back out to the dollar store and pick it up and come back and repaint it. That's the awesome part about um, acrylics is you can always like, you can always repaint it. Um, hey, Shanna. So Amber, your dad is watching all the way from the west coast of South Island of New Zealand. What? Oh my God. Shouts out to Amber's dad. Hey, wow. thanks for joining us. Okay, awesome. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use some green and yellow. I want you to start to put some grass on the bottom like this, right? Hey, Shanna, where's your daughter? Get her to come online and come paint with me. Um, and it's just like, we're just drawing these stripes that go up from the bottom up, bottom up. And you can draw them like about halfway up your green. And you can add green and yellow. Um, you could add yellow and you could put, um, green and white if you want to and i'll show you what that looks like so there's like green and white and there's a little green and yellow so see the difference kind of neat i'm just going to go all across the bottom here can you see that mom mm -hmm. mom and dad are working away here and i'm just going to go all the way across the bottom some of them see that's a little more yellow i'm just putting layers on top I'm getting a good workout holding this painting up too. I had an easel, but you know what? I think this is just even better to just be <laughs> a little bit closer so I can show you up and close. So Rob Ross ain't got nothing on this. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of green, a little bit of white, green and yellow. Good. And as I go up, the it kind of creates these little spikies. I'm using the medium brush still, right? If you want your grass lighter, heck, put some yellow right on top. Like, see what happens? That's okay. We're just kind of playing around. Good. So we have some grass. Hey, Chris. Oh, Aunt Mary's here. This is so nice. Oh, Aunt Mary's home. <laughs> Hello, Aunt Mary. Hello, Aunt Mary. Mama's here and Dad, they're in the dining room with me. Okay, so we all have our grass, right, guys? Excellent. Here, I want you to draw like a little, once you get your grass, I want you to put like a little shrub in here. Look at this little plant. Do a little plant. Just do a little plant here in the corner. You just can make this little spiky little plant happening. Yeah, cool. Good job, Mom. And maybe I'm going to put one over here as well on the right-hand side. I'm using a brighter green so that you can see it. So if you have like a dark green grass, you want to use something lighter, use a light green or add some white to it. This is the best way to spend a Sunday with everything that's happening. My goodness. So good. And if you wanted to, you could add some like, you can add if you want to, a little bit of like, you know, grass going across <laughs> this little part of your painting. No. If you want to. I just put like a little bit of, just some little lines going across. Excellent. You guys are doing great. We're like almost there already, okay? Very cool. Janine and Nia are watching, and Robert, hey, how's it going? Excellent, you guys are doing great. Okay, aw, hi. So here's what we can do. So now we're gonna just go back to the large brush, and we're gonna start, now that this is dry, we can start to decorate and put those like little green vines coming down, okay? So we're gonna go back yeah. to the painting, and I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So now we're gonna decorate some green vines just going across the top and down, across the top, around here. 
and down. And we're just gonna put some green on this, the ends of these little branches. And that's it, okay? We're gonna work on that green part right now. So we've done the grass, the little plants, um, and then we'll work on, after we do the green, we'll put the swing and we can decorate it with some flowers and if you wanna add a bird. Now, Coco's finally awake, so it's time out. Yeah, we'll definitely have to add one. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna go back to the large brush and I'm gonna use um, green and yellow again. And I'm just, my brush may be clean or dirty. You can always just like rinse it out in the, in the red cup. Well, I have a red cup, whatever color cup you have. And then, um, you know, you can dry your brush out on your napkin if you have one or paper towel or toilet paper if you have that. And here's what we're gonna do. This technique is just called dabbing. It's very advanced. I'm kidding. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. So we're just gonna like dab, dab, dab all the way in the right corner and dab, dab all the way down like this. Excellent. Aunt Ginny's online, all right. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and dad are here Yay. in the kitchen. Oh, Michaela's watching. Oh, hi, Michaela. How are you? I'm so glad you're watching. Michaela, we're gonna do some more painting together this week, okay? And you can come and join. I mean, you'll have to take some time, maybe go to the dollar store and get some supplies if you don't have markers or paints already. Um, so this is exciting. This is like my first like live painting instruction ever. Um, you know, I, I started Young at Heart with the seniors two years ago and that was um, the first year, I think since then I've ran probably the first year was 100 classes. The second year was about 250. I probably taught over, I want to say about 300 classes, do you think? Mm -hmm. About 300 classes. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's always been in person, but I've never done anything on uh, like live like this before. So it's kind of neat to, like if I think about 300, what did I say? 300 classes? 300 classes. 300 classes is times what, say 12 people in a class? That's a lot of seniors. So anyhow. Oh, thanks, sis, for the encouragement. She says we're doing great. And then Janine says, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Hello, Janine. Hello, Janine. Hello, oh. we love you. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that there. And then, you know, if you have a light green, that's okay. Add some yellow to it. That's okay, and I'm just gonna fill in, I added some blue to my green. What ha look what happens, it changes color. I added some white to my green. You can just try different colors. Coco's waking up now, so you might hear her. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna start to just fill this in a little bit around the tree branches, okay? You're heading down to the beach. What? Jenny's heading down to the beach. Oh, for crying out loud. What God. is that all about? Okay. Yeah. Lucky her. Lucky you, Jenny. Okay, Aunt Jenny, have fun. We will be here painting up a storm. So there's some like of our vines. I ran out of yellow. I'm going to add some more yellow. Do you have enough yellow? Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I'm just going to add in... I don't know, a little bit on the side here, maybe more yellowy color. It's just kind of like, I kind of hold the brush like this. So it's a little bit on an angle. You can do the edges too if you want. So you can start thinking about what you're gonna charge for your painting. You might be uh, selling this. I did have one of the seniors once sell her painting, which is super cute. Hey, Steve. Uh, Oops. Oops. Oh, good, Chris. Okay, I'm glad you're home from Florida. Yes, I saw your post that you guys were in Florida. And um, I'm glad you're home safe. And I'm sorry Leslie's trip got canceled, but that's okay. I'm glad you guys are here and you're safe. And um, I'm glad Michaela's doing some painting. That's awesome. That's so great. Painting in Collingwood. Excellent. So there we go. So we have like all the background done. We have the vines and the tree and everything. Oh, there's one other thing we could do. You can use your small brush or your medium brush for this. Um, you just want to decorate these little ends of your tree. 
Maybe just put a little bit of green there like that. You know, you might want to just put a little bit of green on the branch like that. I'm just doing a little dabbing. I don't know. Add in some green. So good. So now that we have like everything kind of like laid out, we can start to decorate it with the, with the um, swing and the flowers and the bird. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. So here's what we'll do. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to yep. put our medium brush and large brushes back in the water. And we're going to use our smallest brush that we have. Um, makes sense. The smaller the brush, the smaller the like the the part that we're working on right so if we're working on the swing then we want to use a tiny brush because it's small detail and i'm just going to use some brown my paint palette's getting like super messy and i'm going to draw the swing like right down in the center okay and i'll show you what it looks like so we're just drawing two lines coming down to the green area one two and then a tr just a we're just going to draw a rectangle for the bottom we're not going to get into the too much detail at this time Okay, and here's what we're doing. We're gonna start from the top of those branches because the swings go, pretend the swing goes around the branch. So I'm gonna just start like around, right at the top. And I'm just gonna draw like in brown or black or like that darker color that you made. I just want you to draw like a little bit of a line get going down. You could even add white to your brown. And then I just want you to draw like a rectangle, maybe like about an inch long, depending on what size canvas you have. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna just actually just do this like this. Okay, so I have something like that, yes? Say yes. Hey, Matt. Um, and then I might just like, just touch it up a little bit. You can use some brown or white over top, doesn't matter. We're just gonna add in like a little bit of um, color. So this is like pretty much what the seniors do. So if you're like, you know, going, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Like we walk through this with all the seniors and you know, it's amazing to see that like no matter how much um, uh, time we, we spend together, it's amazing to see like, or how, how the instructions come out, it's amazing to see how they all create something a little bit different and unique. And I just put a little bit of color in mine. Cool. There's my little swing. And it's not perfect, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to let this dry, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to, like, decorate the little um, ropes with some flowers and using our small brush. But in the meantime, we're going to create some flowers at the bottom here. <laughs> so I'm going to wash my brush, and we're going to start to do these little flowers. So some, have, some look like a star... Some look like, you know, you could do little hearts, so they look like a tulip, and you could do little dots, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna rinse my brush. <laughs> Dry it out on the paper towel, or the mm -hmm. napkin, or the toilet paper. And um, if you were to mix like yellow and pink together, it's gonna make this really nice peachy color. See the top of that palette there, it's like a peach. So you can add it, you can make two color, like take two colors and mix them together. I like the peach color, or you can just use yellow. You could do white flowers. You can do pink. You could do blue. I mean, it's really up to you. I'm going to use this color. And then here's what I'm going to do just for a flower. Okay. I'm just going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Ta-da. One, two, three, four, five. And you can, add, you can even make like some of them white. So maybe you want to add some white into it. Maybe I'll do that so you can see it really much better. Right, you're just going to do a few of those across the bottom. Yeah. And I'm going to give you a minute mm -hmm. to like get caught up and I'm going to do a few over here. Ooh. I'm excited, you guys. This is going to look so good. So for any of the kids watching, you know, you can start to teach your friends how you did this painting and then you can run your own lessons while the kids are off from school. Okay, there's some oh. little, you could do some like, oh. like hearts if you want. 
Add some white in there. Add some yellow and white if you want. That's a nice color together. Um, white creates like almost like a barrier between like whatever colors on the bottom and the next color that's going on top. So always if I add some white, the color's really gonna stand out um, more than if I didn't add white into the color. Oh, um, right. So you can add a little white if you want. And then I might just go around and just add in these little dots. Good. You guys are doing great. How are we feeling out there? Say good, yes, good. And I'm gonna hurts. just do these little dots like that. And then you can add in, um, you know, the centers of the flower if you wanna do some white centers. You can go back, rinse your brush and just add in a little dot into the middle. Beautiful. So good, excellent. <laughs> Do you hear Coco? Hi Coco, she's awake. Yeah, so we have some flowers, right? So if you look, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just did like little hearts and dots all the way across the bottom. You can get creative. This is just for fun, this part. You know, actually I'm gonna add some more pink. Um, Maybe you can add some more, like a little higher into the grass up here. If you want to do a few little ones up there, that's fine too. If you want to put like a little flower up here in, your in the top right, feel free. Oh, I can't do those hearts. Mm -hmm. Those are tough to pick up. So this is mm. kind of what we have so far, right? We've got our flowers, we've got our branches and our swing. Excellent. And then I'm gonna take that pink color. You guys, we're almost done. This is so amazing. I can't believe you're all like still here. This is awesome. Okay, and we're gonna do this more often. So, um, you know, for those of you that are watching, like, you know, grab some supplies. These are just paints from Dollarama. Dollarama has no lineups right now. Um, you can buy your paint brushes and the canvas boards there as well. And then I'm just using styrofoam plate for a canvas. Acrylics, yeah, these are acrylics, yeah. Thanks, Mom. Okay, excellent. So here's what we're gonna do too. You can just take a little bit of your pink or your or your peach color that you made with pink and yellow, or you can use any color you want. And I'm just gonna draw a little, um, like kind of dots going up. You can draw small flowers. No. I'm just gonna just do a little a little bit of decoration on my swing. Maybe you just want to do it in pink. That's fine too. I'm just gonna maybe you want to add a little white dots. I don't know, I like the pink color. Good. And then maybe using a little bit of white. Um, Dad's doing using this uh, paint here. This is a different type of paint. This is that you can get at Michael's or one of the craft stores like um, Desairs. These are about six or seven dollars a piece. Um, so you can use those as well. And I just want to add a little more white here. And I'm just gonna, every time you switch colors, you can really wash your brush, okay? Hey Sarah, yeah, we're getting you in for the next one for sure. Um, if you want to add little white dots, like, I don't know, I was thinking like, you know, white kind of adds some brightness to the painting. Get some color on there because it's a lot of green. Good. The painting is making us happy. Right? So nice. So, so great. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See? So I just added a little bit. Mom, Mom's here in the kitchen and Dad, so I'm just showing them what to do here. Well, no, I can't. Just add some little white, little white ones around. Cool, this is kind of cool, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, how are we feeling out there so far? We're gonna take a minute. How are we doing? Yes, good, yes, thumbs up. Are we creating our masterpieces? You're starting to think about where you wanna put your painting. You're starting to think about like who you're gonna sell it to. And now that you know how to do this, you're like, you're. the more that I teach you, the more you're gonna get trained on how the steps go and then eventually you'll be like, oh yeah, 
yeah, I remember I'm going to do the background like this and then I'm going to do, you know, this is how I make three colors in the branches. Amber, you're good. Awesome. Good. I'm so excited. So my request for you when we're finished this, and we're still going to add the burden, is that when you're finished, I would love a picture of you holding your painting. Oh, a second family from New Zealand. Hi, Sharon. Oh, this is so awesome. So exciting. So um, my request is that when you're finished, please take a picture of yourself holding your painting and put it in the group ch in this um, in the bottom of this uh, live stream so that I can see what you've done and we can all look at what you've created. Awesome. Your aunt Karine is having a lot of fun. So she's watching this. Is she painting, Nord? Is she is she painting along? I'm so excited to see what she's doing. Okay. So good. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Once you have all this painting done with all your flowers and everything, I'm going to have you um, do this bird. Okay. So I'm going to get you to watch really closely. You can do this in like, um, does anyone know how to make gray? You're going to use black and white. Um, I like to use this color just to kind of outline as if I was watching, um, Oh, anywhere that's so cool. As it, I'm gonna use like a gray, just as if like I'm watch, um, painting and like, coloring in like a pencil. She's the one painting for the first time ever. Oh my God, that's awesome. That's like something I hear often from these seniors too. It's like, you know, they, they just didn't think that they could paint or they're like, oh no, I, I'm not a painter or I've never done this before or, and you know, just giving them the space to be able to and the opportunity for them to just like, just try it and at the end of it, they're just so excited. Um, Helen's wanting your some more cards. <laughs> uh, hey, Jenny. Okay, so here we go. So I've got a couple birds. Here we go. So here's the birdie, okay? Are you guys ready for this? This is a, this is a no. big step. No. Um, we're going to draw the bird. We're going to just put a circle for the belly, a circle for the head. Give them a little wing and a tail. And a couple feet and a bait and a beak, okay? So I'm gonna use light gray to draw it. Oh, thank you for all the love. Love, love, love. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. And I did like all my birds turn out differently, and some of them just don't really look like the best birds, but that's okay. Um, so here's one that I did that's like he's more got some pink and dark gray. Okay. Um, the other one over there, he's like okay. But anyways, we're gonna try this. Here we go. Okay, so a little light gray, so that's gray and white, and a small brush. Um, and I'm gonna do this upside down, or actually I'll just draw this like this. I need to put his belly up so there's enough space between the branch so he can we can draw his little feet. Okay, so actually I'm just gonna draw him over here. I'm just gonna draw, like pretend you're drawing like a snowman. Okay, so you got one circle and then I'm gonna put his feet down afterwards. And then I'm gonna just draw another circle on top, okay? The snowman just has like two circles, so it's like a little snowman, perfect. Yeah, excellent. And then I might just take like a little bit of a darker gray or like a gray, like um, black with a little bit of white, so it's a little bit darker. And I want you to just, between like the two like circles, I just want you to draw this little line out like this, just like a little swoosh. Just a little swoosh, that's gonna be his wing, okay? So just a little swoosh, so it's like, it looks like a little wing. Excellent, yep, yeah, you got it, Mom. Hey, Stephanie. Oops. Yeah, no, it's great, yeah, like, it's perfect. If you've yeah. gone too far, just like, don't, just don't overdo it, just kind of give him a little swoosh, you can always touch it up later. So right. there you go. Got the body and we've got the head. And then I'm going to use that same dark color and I'm going to oh. use the tip of my brush so like I get a little bit of a sharper edge and I'm going to give him a tail and the tail comes out from the wing and I'm just going to go one, two, three, maybe three little tail feathers. Just tiny. I'm using really, really light, light, light pressure. So it just gets this, or you can do two. Hey, Stephanie, thank you. It's so awesome. <laughs> perfect and if you know you've gone over the wing by accident that's okay just touch it up a little bit no problem the bird is the hardest part so if you can do this you guys are gonna be amazing 
Okay, and then I'm gonna just draw two little feet with a darker color. One, two. Okay. And then we're just doing a little simplified bird. It's like just to, something to try on and um, you know, I know you're not all artists here and painters, but we're just trying it. Got a couple legs. And you can always go over it if you don't like the colors I'm using. You can always change the color and do a different color. Um, I'm gonna wash my brush. I'm gonna give my bird a little pink belly and an orange beak. And I'm just gonna use some pink. And I'm just gonna go over that belly part and I'm just gonna give them the pink belly. I like pink, so you can do it blue. You can do it any color you like. I'm gonna use a little pink. Oh, he's so cute, right? Coco, she's still sleeping. Do you see her? She's right there. And then what we can do is add in the lovely beak. So the beak is going to be pink and yellow, or if you have red, use some red and yellow, or, or if you just have orange, the two colors, red and yellow, are gonna make an orangey color or peachy color. And you can, again, if you wanna wash your brush before you do that, that's okay too. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a triangle for his nose, okay? So he has no beak, right? So let's put a beak on him. And all I'm gonna do is just draw this little triangle. <sighs> little triangle. If your brush is not flat, use the corner of your brush. Or if your brush isn't working, like, or if your brush is too thick at the end, flip it over and you can use this like end of your brush, which will give you a, like a much more like sharper point. Sometimes the brushes get a little flat, especially from the dollar store. So that's it, okay? Your bird is done. If you wanna add a little darker wing, you can. Um, I'm gonna give him a little bit of an eyeball. So I'm gonna use a white. Actually, I'm gonna use a dark gray. I'm just gonna flip my brush upside down and I'm gonna use the end of it. And I'm just gonna give him like a little eye with the end like that. That's a bigger <laughs> He's kind of cute. It's so great, yeah? Sugar beet. You got it, Ma? Yeah. Okay. That's okay, we can touch it up afterwards. So there you go. So you have completed your painting. The only other thing I would suggest to do is for us to um, take some time and like touch up the certain areas. Like if you wanna add more flowers or you wanna work on like your little bush or your tree um, and your bird. If you wanna change the color, you can. And what we'll do is we just wanna take a marker and sign your names at the bottom. I always recommend signing your name and putting the date just so we know what date it is because we're probably gonna look back at this and say, oh yeah, when did I do this? And how old was I um, for any of the kids doing the painting as well? So I think we did it, you guys. I think we did it. What do you think? Let me know. <laughs> how did you do? How are you doing? How'd you do? Let me know. Trevor, how's it going, Trevor? What's happening? Are you still in Calgary? People are walking, we're, uh, watching from all over here. We've got uh, Helen in Oregon and Lisa in Calgary and people from New Zealand. Me too, Helen, yeah. Carlisle. Yeah. Here's in Carlisle. So everyone, okay, excellent. Did Mexico. everyone complete their painting? Yes? No. no? Dad's still working on his. Mom's still touching up her bird, okay. From Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah. So good. How'd you do? Okay, over there? Yeah. Good. So mom and dad are still finishing up their painting. Okay, oh, so I want everyone to make sure that they sign their painting. And um, this was like really awesome. Like I've never actually done this live in front of everyone. I hope you all had like a really good time. Take a few minutes. Yeah, Lisa's gonna touch up her painting. Take a few minutes, touch up your painting. Like, you know, if you wanna work on a certain area, um, my only request is that at the end of it, please, in these comments, take a picture of yourself holding your painting. Oh, so yeah. I know that you did it. I want to, I want to have all your photos of you guys and see what you did and see, you know, how good my instructions were through the phone. 
um, through live. And Nuar, thanks for sharing. This is a great initiative. My aunt will touch it up and share her masterpiece. Thank you so much. Um, what I'm offering to do is, um, I know a lot of the kids now are off school and um, we're all kind of being stuck inside and it's like, what can we do to keep ourselves busy? Um, so, you know, what I'd like to do is just offer the, to do this um, some more and invite some more of the kids to join as well. Um, I really want to know also if you can just type here in the comments, what was your experience like? Um, Amber, I'd love to know what your experience was like. How'd you do? Um, and I'd love to know, you know, what did you think about this? And is this something that you could see yourself doing again? Um, and what is it that was um, maybe something, an area that could be even better? I'd love to know your feedback um, to make this like even more enjoyable and fun for all of you guys. And I think that that is the end of it, okay? I think that's it. So um, you're still working on your painting, Dad? Yes, I am. Mom's still working on her painting? Nope. You're finished? Okay, excellent. Yeah. yeah, I think you have to wait until I'm finished the live and then you can share it. Um, oh, I'm glad you had so much fun. Thanks for <laughs> joining me. So now you guys will probably still have like a lot of paint left. So we're gonna have to do this again. Um, so just hang tight on your paints, you know, just, I mean, whatever you use today, you can just toss out, but just make sure your paints are nice and, and you know, sealed before you put them away. Um, I always just watch, uh, wash the brushes just with like water and soap, really, really good, especially right now in this time. Um, and yeah, we will be back online again and we'll do this again together. Um, oh, thank you, Amber. I'm creative and I've always wanted to paint and got stopped because I was trying to get it right. You take all, all, all that out of the space. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you had fun. Like it's just for fun, right? We're having a good time. Thank you guys so much. Rebecca, did your son have a good time? Let me know. I want to know what, like what he thought. Did he get the bird okay? Cause that was like a tough part. And um, would love to know how he did as well. And any of the kids that are there, please take a picture of him sent with his painting. I'd love to see it. And I think that's it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks sis. Put your name in there, you know, put your painting up on your wall, share it with your family, you know, whatever. If you want to sell it on eBay, I don't know. You might want to sell it for lots of money comes with the free. yeah so that's a thanks, good idea thanks kimmy thank you thank you oh yeah rebecca i'm glad he just got a chance to like listen and like hang out and paint that's awesome and if you have any questions i'm going to write some more information at the bottom um of how we can stay connected to do this again because i think this is a really great opportunity for us to continue to do this for the next little while okay i love you guys Thank you again for joining, sis. Thanks, Helen, from all the way from Oregon and Amber and everybody, guys. Thanks so much for like being part of this. This was a real great opportunity for me to try something I've never done before <laughs> with all of you guys live. Um, so yeah, so thank you. Lots of love and stay tuned for the next one. We'll talk then. Love, love, love. Thank you, Zihan, Zeshan. Bye.